Miley Cyrus was so ready to win The Voice with Brooke Simpson that she donned her finest victory robe on Monday as the four finalists performed. The 25-year-old pop star was emphatic after Brooke sang Oh Holy Night, yelling, Vote for Brooke. I put on my finest robe. I am so ready for this. Jennifer Hudson was also moved by Brooke's powerful rendition of the festive song. I felt like it was a gift to us all. You outdid yourself tonight, praised the 36 year old Oscar winner. Brooke, a 26 year old Native American from Hollister, North Carolina, was up against three others for the top spot. The winner will be announced on Tuesday's episode after the public vote. The other finalists included Adam Levine's 16-year-old powerhouse Addison Again, from Fort Wayne, Indiana and Blake Shelton's two entries Chloe Koangsky, 23, from Mount Juliet, Tennessee and Red Marlowe, 40, from Dixon, Tennessee. The season 13 Live Finals performances opened with Addison singing Tim McGraw's Humble and Kind. Humble and kind, that's where I started, why not finish there, said the teen who broke down in tears at the end. The fact, in a way, that you did lose it at the end there, that was beautiful, said Adam. To say I'm proud is the understatement of the year, added the 38-year-old Maroon 5 frontman. Chloe did an original ballad called Wish I Didn't Love You. Your voice cracks and pops and falls apart as you're singing so perfectly. Ladies and gentlemen, you're looking at a superstar right here, said Blake. Blake and Red then hit the stage with acoustic guitars to sing I'm Going to Miss Her by Brad Paisley. Next Brooke belted out her original single What Is Beautiful. I feel like this song is classic but mainstream, Miley told her protege. I have loved you from day one, and I have been sad ever since day one that you weren't on my team, lamented Adam after Brooke's performance. You are a necessary artist. Did you hear these lyrics? Finally a girl up there saying I'm perfect the way I am. Don't change me, I don't need you. Shouted Miley. The next duet was Adam and Addison with a rendition of Falling Slowly by Glenn Hansard and Marketer Glova from the Irish musical ones. Miley then joined Brooke for a sassy duet of Wrecking Ball. Red had written a song called I Pray. It means the world to me, I can't wait for the world to hear it, said the bearded southerner, who had penned the song with a friend, whose father had just passed away. Jennifer was impressed. You are it, you don't have to try and be country, that's just who you are, she told him. You've taken it to the next level, said Blake. Chloe and Blake then teamed up for Roy Orbison's 1989 hit You Got It. Red was so happy to be in the final he said, you can't pull this smile off my face with a team of mules. I'm tickled, tickled to death, he added. His next performance was Garth Brooks' stripped-down acoustic version of the 1977 Bob Dylan track Make You Feel My Love. I gotta say dude, you blow me away, not just with your talent but with your composure and the fact that you have spent your entire life, and it's evident in that moment, preparing for this, praised Blake. Next Addison did an original song called Tennessee Rain. 
you are going to show everyone who you are in such a real, genuine, pure way, predicted Adam. Babe you are music, Judd told Addison after the performance. You are born to be a star, she gushed. I have a daughter and I have another daughter on the way, and I can't imagine a better aspirational human being, announced Adam. The two-hour show ended with Chloe putting a new spin on Bette Davis' eyes. Chloe is the total package, said Blake in admiration. We have a superstar standing here on this stage, yelled the country star, calling Chloe a powerful, female, rock and roll human being. The Voice final concludes on Tuesday on NBC. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment your opinion, share this video and subscribe to my channel. New videos are uploaded every day.